1948, a movie about Joan of Arc's journey came out and caught people's attention with its interesting story and historical importance. It's not just a serious history lesson, though it's full of surprising, funny, and sad parts that will keep you interested. Want to know why this movie is still popular today? Or maybe you're curious about when you first saw it? Stick around because we have lots of cool facts to share. So grab your popcorn and get ready for a ride of emotions. And after the movie, tell us your favorite memories or experiences with it. The 1948 movie about Joan of Arc had a big effect and left a long-lasting mark in the world of movies. It showed Joan's life and her strong belief in a way that many people connected with. The movie really captured how brave and determined she was as she led the French army against the English during the Hundred Years' War. Joan's story is still important today because it talks about things like being brave, having faith, and fighting for what's right. Her choice to go against what society expected of her and follow what she believed was a message that still inspires people today. The movie also showed Joan's trial and how she was killed for what she believed in. It reminds us about how power, politics, and religion were tangled up back then and how it's important to think for yourself and stand up for what you believe even when things are tough. And the movie looked really amazing with great acting from Ingrid Bergman, who played Joan. Her performance was praised a lot and showed why she was one of the best actresses of her time. In the end, the 1948 movie about Joan of Arc is still loved because it tells a great story and deals with timeless themes. Its impact on movies and its lasting effect make it a movie that everyone should see. The 1948 film Joan of Arc, directed by Victor Fleming, is remarkable for a few reasons. Firstly, it's interesting to note that two of the Shepherd brothers involved in the movie, Clement and Edmund, later pursued careers in art. Edmund even painted a portrait of Eleanor Roosevelt. There's also a funny story about Orson Welles at Chasen's restaurant. Supposedly, someone there cut off Wells' tie, the details vary depending on who's telling the tale. Additionally, the film made history by getting seven Academy Award nominations, which was a big deal. However, it didn't get nominated for Best Picture, which was unusual for a movie with so many nominations. These things make Joan of Arc stand out, showing its significance in both the movie world and beyond. The movie Joan of Arc from 1948 tells the story of a young woman named Joan who did important things during the Hundred Years' War. Her mom, Emma Louise Elliott, came from Newcastle, Indiana, and later married Cyrus D. Koval after Joan's dad died. In 2003, Bergman's daughters talked about their mom on Larry King's live show, remembering the 60th anniversary of Casablanca. Joan's brother-in-law was connected to famous people in movies like Alice Joyce, Renee Adore, Mary Pickford, Catherine Perry, and Grace Cunard. This movie not only shows Joan's bravery, but also talks about her personal life and what she did. Victor Fleming directed it, and it's still a powerful story about Joan's journey and her big role in history. The 1948 movie about Joan of Arc, directed by Victor Fleming, tells the story of the French heroine. Ingrid Bergman played the lead role. She won two Emmy Awards for her performance, and the costume design also got an Emmy. The film also stars Jose Fur, Francis L. Sullivan, and J. Carol Naish. Although some criticized it for not being historically accurate, Bergman's acting was praised. Despite the controversies, it's still an important film. Ingrid Bergman, known for her acting skills, won two Emmy Awards. She got her first Emmy in 1959 for a role, and won another one posthumously in 1982. Bergman's personal life also got attention, especially in 1949 when she had a scandalous affair with director Roberto Rossellini and had a child with him outside of marriage. This caused problems for her career in Hollywood, so she went to live in Italy with Rossellini where they made movies together. Despite the drama, Bergman eventually returned to Hollywood. Her comeback film Anastasia came out in 1956 and won her an Oscar. 